Actually, a couple, couple of quick ones. First off in Dallas, is Rick Bonus a huge dick? Is he is he uh, Texas's Babcock? Or is he being an NHL coach? So, yeah, so this, what is happened? A, this is a tough one. So let me read. It's let me read. Let me one. read. Let me read. And sure. then we'll get to it. And mm-hmm. then and then you can tell me. So Dallas Stars forward and Minnesota native Riley Tuft was scratched an hour before his game uh, after he'd spent all of his call-up money on tickets for his family. And Nick Bukestad actually helped him purchase tickets after he ran out of money. <coughs> so that is not great. No, that sounds horrible. And as, but what's what's the context? Well, as a Leaf fan, we hear that and we're like, that's exactly what Babcock did to Spezza, who got like 30 tickets for his friends and family to see him play with the Leafs, and then he's a healthy scratch in game one in, in place of Nick Shore. Extremely different context. We're talking about the first game of the season mm-hmm. versus t- game 20 and a team in absolute free fall. And we're talking about a guy who's played something like 900 NHL games versus this guy who has played like, th- what was it, three? Nope, two. Two. He played, his first game was last Saturday where he played four minutes and 25 seconds, and then his second ever NHL game was on Tuesday where he played seven minutes and 50 seconds. And then, what was it, last night he gets scratched. So let's say in 20 games the stars are, I don't know, 10, 8, and 2. Let's say they're 10, 8, and 2. They're a little above 500. They're doing okay. Does Rick Bonus throw the kid a bone and let him know ahead of time, kid, you're playing in Minnesota. Uh-huh. Tell your friends, tell your family you're going to you're gonna be playing, and they'll get to watch you. They're not going to watch you a ton, but you get to play. I think in normal circumstances, he and most coaches would do that. But, like, Rick Bonus is... The stars are so bad that they've already had a players only meeting. They got the John Boy treatment. You never want the John What's, Boy treatment. Can you tell me what that is. So John Boy <laughs> yeah. is a guy who mostly does baseball and he lip reads amazingly. And he takes like umpires and batters and he takes he just takes everyone in the baseball field. He reads their lips, he provides amazing context. He explains rules I never knew existed. He's one of my favorite sports personalities. YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah. And oh, and he was so amazing through the whole Astros thing. Oh yeah, wasn't he the guy that cr- found it? Was he the guy that found no. it? No, not no, okay. found it, but he his videos were probably the most popular. Okay, right. So other people found it, exposed it. He got some video evidence, and you hear the bang bang, and it's one of the best sports YouTube accounts in the entire business. I just Fantastic to make sure for people that didn't. Yeah, know. yeah. Oh yeah. So he got the John Boy treatment, and Rick Bonus is just. Motherfuck! Like screaming at these guys in the bench. You're giving me fucking nothing. And where's the fucking fight? Where's the fucking fight? That was the quote. Um, the stars are in a bad, bad place right now. And he's not in a position to do charity work here. Now, if he gave this player the impression, hey, you're playing in Minnesota. If he told him that, and pulled the rug, that's an asshole move. Well, here's what he said. Who, who's he? Rick Bonus Thomas. or tough? He okay. said it was an assistant coach's, uh, 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 assistant coach's decision. Um, so already, he's, we're just starting and he threw someone else under the bus. All right. Well, that's what it is. Can I read the, can I read the whole thing? Oh, yeah. Give me the quote. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is, it's like two paragraphs, but it's worth it. Uh, it's a big ask for him to go into a game like today. Uh, Kiwi sat a couple of games, Kiwi Ranta. Uh, we wanted to get some speed and some energy for him, from him. Riley hasn't played very much. He's only played four minutes one night and seven minutes the last. That's a tough ask to put him in those situations. He'll be back in the league and we'll be back in there next time we come to Minnesota. At some point, he'll play here. Tonight, we wanted to put a little more speed in the lineup. And Kiwi sat out a couple. When I got to the rink tonight, the lineup changed. Riley was in as of this morning. When I got to the rink, Dave told me we had a couple of guys that we didn't expect to play to play. So we had to make a quick call there. Oh, so the stars who I guess have been banged up or had guys Mm -hmm. on protocol had a couple guys who became available to them who previously weren't. After morning skate, Kiviranta's like, I can go tonight. And then now the lineup, that's that's real tuft on tuft. Uh, you know, the morning you're in the you're in the lineup, at, you're at morning skate, you make you get all these tickets, and then an hour before, uh, 
game time comes around and the coach is like, hey, you know, Kiwi can suit up. We're going to put him in. What if no one's wrong? That's rough. What if no one's wrong? I think that's it. I'm I got to criticize Rick Bonus here because that's not a good way for a team that's struggling. All you're doing is you're hurting yourself with the guys in the room. Which, yeah, which you are already potentially losing. You need to yeah. feel good about something. So yeah. on that point, I agree. And the the point, the issue I have is even if it was the assistant coach's ultimate, like this is my recommendation, it's a recommendation because the assistant coach doesn't set the lineup card, right? Mm-hmm. And and at the end of the day, Rick should have been like, yeah, falls to me, and I made that decision in, uh, in consultation with the assistant coach. What a strange. That was the first thing he mentioned too. Yep. It was an assistant coach's decision. Which assistant coach? First of Dave. All. Dave, Dave? Uh, Zeiss? Z-E-I-S? Forever just known as Dave. Dave Zeiss. 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 Zeiss, maybe I'm saying that incorrectly. So now, I mean, forget losing the room, which it sounds like he already has. He's losing his staff. He's throwing Dave under the bus. Yeah, fucking Dave's like, yo, you asked for my recommendation, but this is your call. There's Dave's no situation like, where it's that guy's fault. Dave, You're his boss. Dave can't only make hot chicken. No. He's got he's to By the way, be assistant coach in the NHL I as well. Hot chicken try. is <laughs> unbelievable. You know what? Next week, we'll order some. <gasps> uh, we'll order <laughs> so some. I think that's on that's on bonus being a bad manager. You know, like, you got to you gotta understand personalities. And sometimes just getting guys to like you means more than, hey, we got the injured guys not injured. Just because the medical staff comes over to you and is like, he ran to can play tonight, doesn't mean you can't give him the extra day off because you've already committed to tough coming in the if I was, If Come I was on. a leader on that team, first off, I would pay pay the kid back for all the money that like oh. I would just like because those guys like Ben and Sagan make a lot of money yeah why is it I'd be like okay, let me let me uh well Bukestad does pretty well as think, well but I think he's another um uh Minnesota guy but I would I would just say hey listen I'm gonna give you that money back so you can take this because you're you know you're a fringe guy yeah Number and you two, know why that money thing hits even more home for me hearing this story because of the damn agent provocateur podcast on tuesday where yeah. they explain that hey uh, uh three million dollars is actually like 800 grand so this kid who's making like a hundred grand the ahl or whatever gets called up for one game he's got to spend all these tickets he's making a normal guy's salary yeah. i i think it was the 24 7 series leafs red wings and there was a dinner and Jerry D'Amigo, who had just been called up, he was making like 70 Gs in the American League. He lost the credit card game. Oh, gosh. Why was he even in the credit card game? <laughs> I, part of me... No. I was no. judging them. I was judging oh, the other players that. at the table. Uh, I'm like, that's bullshit. And they bullshit. made him pay, right? That's literally some guy paying... It's yeah. the equivalent of some random off the street paying for dinner for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that's, and, and that's what happened, right? Yes! Well, I, you know, did someone maybe step up right. afterward? I don't know. I don't know. You don't do that. That's and I shitty. mean, I'm sure he got a signing bonus, and but it's no, it's fucked up. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. I would never go to dinner with those fuckers again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, Fuck you. I remember being like, that's really not cool. And that's really not. Cool. Uh, and so anyway, I I think that it made me like the team less. It's possible that Rick Boness and his assistant coach Dave, the Dave, the mm-hmm. only Dave, mm-hmm. has ever existed. Uh, it's possible that they made what they thought was the right lineup call. But at the end of the day, if this guy was an inconsequential player anyway, which it seems like he is, they're playing him like he is. Two games, he has 11 total minutes. <laughs> yeah, this guy doesn't matter much to the play. Yep. If you knew that, and that's that remains to be seen, does, did he know that the, the, the guy was from there? Did he know the family was coming? Bukestad, the players need to step up and say, Rick, this is a wrong call. And, and Rick needs to, if he knows about that, needs to understand that it doesn't fucking matter anyway, man. Or <laughs> like, also, hey, listen, kid, we're going to play Minnesota again. We're Dallas. You know, I would I'd be curious to know how much wire crossing there yeah. was. Did any of the coaching staff know this was going to happen? Keep going. Oh, really? Keep, well, Rick Bonus's is uh, Wikipedia page has been updated. Oh, no. <laughs> what did somebody do? Richard Gary Bonus, born January 25, 1955, as a Canadian who is familiar with ice hockey and an irredeemable piece of garbage after <laughs> scratching Riley Tufty at the last minute. He masquerades as the head coach for the Dallas Stars of the National Hockey League uh, and so on and so forth. Can I, That's, can I make my last point on please. why Rick is in the wrong here and looks like kind of an asshole? Mm-hmm. The team lost 7-2. Oh! Lost in all of this is the result of the damn game. 
They they went out and they laid a giant fat egg and they gave up and they allowed seven goals to the Minnesota Wild. The team didn't want to play and you made it worse. Yeah, but no, the fourth line had speed. You know what? I need to scratch that kid. You like, know what? We got Kivi in. That's what we needed. We yeah, needed we speed need, to lose by five goals. We could have lost by six goals. Had it oh, not been for come Kivi. on. I. This is a move I could have been sold on, but the more details you give me, no. Yeah. No. 